Have you ever stopped in the middle of a project and asked yourself, uh, wait, is Compose really better than XML or reverse? I've been through uh, that exact journey from basic XML layouts to fully adopting Jetpack Compose in my most of apps. In this video, I'm going to share my years of real world experience so you can decide what works best for you. I'm Mohsen. In this channel, we keep Android development practical, simple, and real. If that sounds good for you, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel and let's dive in. Okay, let's start the comparison between Jetpack Compose and XML based on my experience. Let's start from the XML. Uh, let's review some uh, pros of uh, XML. Uh, it's a stable and uh, it's been long long time uh, alive and uh, well documented uh, you can find a lot of documents about the XML I have a channel here and I have around 200 uh, videos and at least 110 of uh, those videos are about the uh, XML so I'm only one person and I have uh, like 100 videos about it. So consider about the whole network and uh, tons of different uh, topics uh, that uh, are available about the XML. But I have to mention that uh, most of these tutorials are getting old and old and old because everyone are now migrating from XML to Jetpack Compose and uh, we all know that uh, uh, compose multi-platform as well is getting a stable so the future of uh, the android is going to uh, go forward uh, by jetpack compose but uh, still uh, it has large community support is easier for beginners if you are a beginner uh, the method of thought in uh, XML is very very simple to understand in comparison to Jetpack Compose because the layout is totally separated from the logical codes and uh, you can uh, handle it in your mind to learn uh, how to create a layout then uh, step by step connect it to the uh, logical codes and run your application and make it functional uh, it has a strong tools like concept layout before that uh, it was a pain to uh, position different components on the screen but using concept layout made it easy and uh, it has a better performance in some application I would say that uh, on the other hand, uh, Jetpack Compose uh, made the Android app development uh, easier because uh, you can have a single activity and implement tons of layout, tons of uh, skins inside one activity. But uh, years ago, I was using XML and I had applications that I had to implement like six or seven activities and each activity had like 10 fragments inside them and for each of them we need to uh, create uh, different layouts and uh, the pain was to uh, name all of the components uh, like uniquely now let's take a look at uh, jetpack compose jetpack compose has a declarative ui uh, it has live preview support so don't need to uh, build your application anytime that you want to test it uh, using uh, live preview will help you to see the changes in the ui immediately actually if you have a good uh, computer and uh, the animations are very smooth in the jetpack compose and uh, it has reusable components i'm going to show you a practical example and uh, you will be more familiar with this uh, that means if you create something 
uh, later more and more and several times you can use it uh, and no need to change the name of all of the uh, components uniquely so easily you can use that and it has the modern tools like material t3 and uh, it helps a lot a lot a lot uh, but uh, on the other hand it's a bit hard uh, to uh, start with it uh, for the beginner uh, from the hello world you should know about the uh, composition recomposition about the estates uh, where you should uh, save them when you should save it when you should use savable a lot of different things that uh, makes you confused a bit. so in my opinion it's better to uh, have some knowledge about uh, android app developer using uh, xml layout then migrate to jetpack compose but if you want to start from jetpack compose from the scratch no matter you can do it uh, like the other people that are doing it but uh, in my uh, courses uh, I'm always starting with a short uh, introduction with uh, XML then I'm going to jump to the jetpack compose and uh, let's go and see the example at 2003 uh, in android developers uh, youtube channel they posted a video and uh, they showed this layout you can see the hexagonal layout and it was completely built by jetpack compose uh, they had a short video about it and a long video about it and it was like only four minutes and uh, it was not uh, well explained but uh, it had uh, some uh, bullet point inside it and you could use them uh, to build this uh, kind of layout uh, here someone uh, wrote this code and did the calculation and made a hexagon and uh, achieved to this uh, layout using a lazy uh, column and then he achieved this he calculated the uh, padding between the elements to avoid this kind of uh, overlapping and uh, finally he could implement uh, this uh, layout so as you see if you want to build such layouts you can write uh, like if you calculate this like I think more than 100 lines of codes including these lines that has only curly braces or parentheses and you can achieve uh, this uh, layout easily not easily but you can achieve it but uh, I would say uh, using XML will not uh, bring you to this uh, step you can never uh, build this kind of layout using XML uh let's go to sum up and uh, see which one is better to use to sum up i would say like most android developers i started with xml over time i moved uh, toward the uh, jetpack compose it wasn't easy at first uh, because the mindset is very different uh, the logic and the ui are two different things uh, in xml approach but in jetpack compose uh, sometimes they are mixed and uh, there was not good sources at the beginning and jetpack compose was not uh, stable but nowadays it's great you can find a lot of materials and uh, you can go to the developers.android.com and uh, there is a free course that you can uh, take it start from the scratch learning jetpack compose and uh, improve your knowledge using that course and uh, in my opinion compose is growing fast and uh, backed by google that's very important so it's uh, clearly the future of android and uh, remember about the material theory uh, it's uh, very powerful and we can do whatever we want using it uh, but uh, still many of projects are using xml and uh, mm, on the other hand it's better to know xml and later 
migrate to compass at least uh, have some knowledge about xml uh, will make you a better developer and uh, based on the analytics of the play store uh, more than 80 percent of the uh, high demand applications uh, live on google play store are using jetpack compose now that was everything i wanted to tell you about this topic and if you like uh, this kind of uh, topic write down below in the comment box and i'm going to make more videos like this please give me a thumbs up for this video and if you are new in the channel please hit the subscribe button and the bell button to be aware about the new videos till the next video have a good time happy coding and see you